Hi everyone, so as you may know, Team Allocate was recently in New York for Book Expo and Book Con, and then after that event, I also went and visited family in Ontario. So I've been away from home for a couple weeks, and in those couple weeks, I went to a few bookstores and bought some books. So today, I just want to show you all of the books I managed to acquire in the last two weeks. So the way I'm going to do this book haul is I'm going to break it down by bookstore, because I managed to go to five or six different bookstores in my travels recently, so I think I'm going to show them to you that way. So the first bookstore that we went to in New York was called the Community Bookstore, and that is a tiny little bookstore in Brooklyn, and it was just the cutest little place. And I did manage to actually find The Astonishing Color of After by Emily X. R. Pan. This is a book that I had wanted to read for ages, and I actually flew through this while I was on vacation, absolutely loved it, and ended up giving it five stars. Um, and this is a story about a girl who loses her mother to suicide, um, but then believes that her mother has come back as this bird. Um, I'm not going to go too much into the plot because I have a lot of books to go through, but it is a beautiful story about dealing with grief and getting to know your family and uh, and I just absolutely fell in love with it. So if you haven't picked this one up yet, I definitely recommend it. So the next bookstore that I went to was actually Barnes & Noble. We don't have Barnes & Noble in Canada, so I always take the opportunity to go when I'm down in the States, and I picked up The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. Um, this is a new adult high fantasy that's uh, inspired by Chinese history. It is an awesome story. I actually listened to the audiobook of this one while we were on our trip, and I totally understand why this is getting so much hype. It is brutal, violent, but the characters are so intriguing. Again, this is definitely an adult novel, but I'm so excited to read more of this trilogy. Next up, of course, I had to stop by The Strand. When you're in New York City, you have to go to The Strand, and I actually picked up four books there, and I wasn't in actually anticipating to buy anything. The first book that I picked up was The Nest, uh, because this is two dollars and it's a signed edition. Um, it was in one of those stands they have outside of the bookstore itself. I don't know too much about this, I believe it's like a family drama. It was kind of popular about a year ago, I believe. Um, and I only picked it up, it's a beautiful cover, I picked it up because it was two bucks, it's signed, and I'm hoping they'll like it. Next up was another two dollar find, and that is Quiet, The Power of Introverts in a World That Can't Stop Talking by Susan Cain. Uh, I have wanted to read this book for years now, I've heard it's very good. Um, I am surrounded by introverts, I am myself very much an introvert, and I've heard this book is really fascinating. And for two dollars for a hardcover, I decided it was finally time to pick it up. Next, I picked up Love and Luck by Jenna Evans Welch. Uh, this is a companion book to Love and Gelato, which I actually have not read, but this book came out very recently and it was only nine dollars, so I grabbed it. And this is actually set in Ireland. Um, I love books set in Ireland because I used to live in Ireland, and they actually go to the town of Dingle, which is where I lived in this book. Really fun kind of summer road trip story, so if you like contemporary, this one's gonna be good. The last book I picked up at The Strand was Ozland by Wendy Spinell. This is actually the third book in this trilogy, and we actually included the first book, Everland, way back in spring of 2016, and that's a kind of a retelling of Peter Pan, so I absolutely fell in love with that one and have been reading the series ever since. Um, these covers are gorgeous, they all look so good together on the shelf, and this book, although brand new, was only $9, so I grabbed it and read it right away, and I'm so happy to be done with this series. The last bookstore I went to in New York was called the Everything Goes Bookstore, and that was actually on Staten Island, and it was a super cute little community space slash used bookstore, and I managed to pick up a few books because everything was also on sale. So I grabbed uh, The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. I obviously already own this book, but I collect all the different editions of his books as well, and I didn't have the second book in this mass market edition, so I grabbed it for I think it was a dollar. Um, so this is added to the collection now. I also grabbed this really funny tiny little book of Irish traditional fiddle music. This is not for me. <laughs> this is for my aunt who is a music teacher um, and she loves little stuff like this so I grabbed it for her. And then they had a free pile and they had an arc of Dundurt Cheap by Sarah Nicole Lemon. This I believe has something to do with motorcycle gangs or a motorcycle club and I am still looking for a book about motorcycles that like really works for me so I'm interested to read this one and it was in a little free box I picked it up. So my next pile of books are all books that came from Book Expo or Book Con. Um, we didn't have a lot of time to walk around or anything that, like that because obviously we were quite busy during the event, but I still managed to get a few books sent my way, so these are those books. Sophia Elena Henson actually stopped by and handed Karina the whole, tri the whole vinyl trilogy, which is set in a world in which music is weaponized. Um, I'm currently reading the first one before Karina can have them. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. It's a definitely a different take. It's a fun dystopian story. If you like dystopians, this will probably be up your alley. Next up, I got this lovely arc of Dear Evan Hansen. This is a novelization of the hit Broadway show, which I am obsessed with. 
Um, I'm super excited to read this book. I feel like it's probably gonna make me cry, but I'm very thrilled to have it in my hands and I can't wait to read it. Next is just a sampler, but it's a very exciting sampler, and that is King of Scars by Leigh Bardugo. I am so excited for this book. I'm not usually into samplers because, you know, it's just like a tease and you want more, but I'm going to be reading this like the day before the book comes out because I cannot wait for a story about Nikolai. And the final book I didn't get at Book Expo or Book Con, but we did get it during that time, and it is actually Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This is the new, one of the new 20th anniversary editions. We actually went to this party put on by Scholastic, and these new editions are done by Brian Selznick, the amazing author, illustrator of things like uh, Wonderstruck and the invention of Hugo Cabret. Um, these covers were so cool, and Brian Selznick is, was actually at the event and talked, and he actually signed the books for us. So that was probably one of the highlights of the trip, if not my life. Um, so it was super cool. A lot of us were like almost crying hearing these people talk about the impact of Harry Potter. And it was just so much fun and I'm super grateful to have this edition. And the final bookstore I went to was very exciting and that was Book Outlet, the actual physical brick and mortar store in St. Catharines, Ontario. Um, my dad took me there as soon as I got into the province and I picked up four books because I just had to buy something. So the first book I picked up was Proof of Forever by Lexa Hillier. Um, I've already read this book, but I wanted my own copy and I think it was like $2.50 or something. So yeah, so that was the first book I got. It was a good start. Next up I got The Exiled Queen by Cinda Williams Chima. This is the second book in her Seven Realms series. Uh, I read the first book last year and quite enjoyed it and really want to carry on in this world. Saw a book out that had it on the shelf, so I grabbed it. Next I grabbed Unholy by Neil Schusterman. This is the second book in his Unwind dystology. I read Unwind a few months ago, really enjoyed it, so I am looking forward to carrying on with the series. Neil Schusterman does dystopian so well. It, he does it in a way that's so original and I'm really excited to get to the rest of the series. And the last book I picked up was Joyride by Anna Banks. I actually know nothing about this book, but it looked like a nice, fun summer contemporary, and I like to have a few of those just sitting on my shelf that I haven't read yet in case the mood strikes. So I grabbed this one. It's a beautiful cover, and I'm excited to read it. All right, so those were all of the books that I managed to accumulate in the past two weeks while I was on vacation. Yes, I had to check a bag on the way home. Whenever I travel, I try to visit local bookstores and use bookstores in these different community spaces just as a way to explore new places, and obviously it hits my interest. So I often come home from vacation with, the, with more books than I left with, and that's totally okay with me. I've read a few of these already, as I said, I've really enjoyed them, and I'm excited to get to the rest. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. Happy reading, and thanks for being awesome. Bye.